Hi friends, it's Liz here. Today I have a project to share with you. It is um, my design project for my porch prints. I had so much fun making this and I can't wait to show you. I will link in the description box below all the digitals that I used to make it. Um, but really it was inspired primarily by a project I shared with you a few videos back. Uh, we made this um, similar little mini album with all the um, um i guess the different little pages that we added to it etc so i wanted to do something that was uh, a little bit larger like you know the um the nine by six size and i am super happy with how ha this has turned out so let's get into it so for the cover, I just used a lot of the digitals from the kit. I did use um, a, a, this piece on the front here that is from a paper collection. And then I just added some flowers and I just stressed them a little bit. I added a little blink to it. The back you can see, it's just a, a nice um, design. And then I just did a quick tie ribbon. So this is like, I would call maybe this like a little um, lap book or a folio. I'm not really sure what I'm going to call it, but I can tell you that I had so much fun. So this, um, these little pockets here, I did use the digital um, design for it, and that's how I kind of made the two little flip outs here. So I did add the little brads to close the pockets. And I'm just going to go in stages because there's just so much to see with this one. So when you pop this open here i have a pocket on the top there if you can see that and again all the digitals i've used are for my porch prints this actually is part of the paper collection that i used it was like a michael's paper pad that i thought the colors just went perfect with this project this here i loved how it came out i do have a video showing you how i make these what i call them secret pockets so i do have a video showing you how i make that i will also have that on my blog um, I, I'll have everything on my blog actually because I find it's easier for those of you to um, to check out my blog. So I've got the secret pocket here and then of course I just added a little leftover piece for journaling from the kit. It's everything that I was working with. So there's that there and I'll just move that here so it doesn't fall. Um, it does have a, another pocket at the bottom and then here i just added some tickets you know you can add a bunch of different ephemera especially if you're making something similar to send to friends uh, these are tickets from the digital which are just gorgeous so i just added a little set there just moving that around oh i shouldn't close that because i'm going to show you in here so now this uh, portion here again i just made like a little flip out pocket and you can see how that has the window there and then I used the tags from the kit to make a little journaling spot because I thought it's always nice to have little places to put notes and things like that here I added another pocket and this just has a tag in there so I just I love how that turned out these are fussy cut flowers I did get these in a swap a long time ago and then I just added one of the sentiments from the kit so I just really like all the different um, interactive pieces that um, I made with this here and so this is the part that I'm talking about that was inspired by my last project primarily is all the different little um, uh, flaps and things like that. So for the first one, I did make like another secret pocket thing. I've got some tags from the kit. And then this again is from the paper collection from Michaels, which like I said, I think it just goes nicely together. And then this one here just flips over the back of that little envelope. I just added a little tag. And then you open it up and you have another little tag that I made from the kit itself. And then I added again another fussy cut flower. I, I received these in a swap and I'm so thankful because I, I can't do that. My hands just, uh, I'm not able to, to fussy cut. So it's just wonderful when I'm able to swap for some of those. Uh, I made a little pocket here again with a, a, a paper collection journaling card I just added another little pocket in the back so on this side there's an envelope of course from the kits another journaling card this is from the paper collection 
And then I love how that looks. So I just added a little ticket to close it. Here, this is from, again, the paper pad that I was using. Let's see if I'm in frame. And then on this side, again, um, I just added some of the little words that came in the kit, the back of the envelope, so you can see that it's got another little pocket. This is, again, from the paper collection. And then here, I just used some more of the tickets. And I made a little um, journaling spot with a leftover paper and one of the labels. I love her labels that are in this um, and these digitals, just beautiful. So this side, again, I've got another tag. This is from a paper collection and so is this. I just decided to combine a lot of different pieces that I thought went nicely with the digitals. So again, with a beautiful, I love those labels, flip out and you have even more secret places in here. And I'm just checking, yes I am. So here I added two of the pockets that come in the kit with some of the tags. I just backed them onto cardstock to make it a little thicker. Again, you have this one here. More places to journal, of course. I'm gonna start on this side and then move my way in. So here we have a pocket that is the entire length of this flap, okay? So it's just a little secret pocket there as well. And then two pockets on the inside flap. This is vintage, um, wallpaper that I, that's in a little tag shape and just another this is actually from a paper collection again a tag that I had as well that I added to that and then on this side you've got more spaces to journal and then another secret spot here I just added an, an envelope from the collection and this pocket again is quite deep it goes the entire length right here if you wanted to add more things in that so that's um that's it for my share for now if you want to um see a tutorial as always i always say just let me know leave a comment below because it you know it let me know it lets me know if you're interested in seeing the tutorials for some of these items i super enjoyed uh, making this i'm definitely going to be making more i already have a new kind of version that i'm working on as well um which i've been working for both sizes so i hope you enjoyed the share. I am super happy with this project. Uh, thank you for joining me. Check my blog out for all the details. I will have everything there. Actually, it's much easier to, to put everything on the blog because it's all in one spot. Um, and as always, questions, comments, leave a comment below and um, I will see you next time. Thanks so much for stopping by.